it's been a day. But I am excited and happy to end my week off because I have the next couple days off with a success story. I promise my success stories are as dominant as ever. My schedule is just non-existent. <laughs> and so this lovely gentleman is going to come on and talk about how he manifested what he did using my teachings and how they really helped him change his life for the better. You're my favorite coach I've seen recently. Thank you. That's so sweet. I love that. I'm screenshotting that. Hi, how can I schedule a second call with your mom and dad? Um, do you already have a pre-existing package that has multiple calls? If so, you would just need to text them because you already have their number. If you would like to, if you don't have any remaining calls and you want to just book new calls, um, you would just go to the website. But if you already have a package, which it seems like you do, you just need to send them a text message and be like, hey, I would like to redeem my second call. And probably just give them like two to three days of notice and just give them a message. Yeah, unfortunately, Squarespace is a little strange like that. It doesn't let the client book multiple calls. It only lets you book your first and then you have to email us or text us the other ones. How are we doing? Success story today. I feel like, and I've been seriously considering this with my family. Um, like I need an assistant to just post all my success stories. Like, literally. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I'm so excited. Hi, how's it going? Going good. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay, great. I'm excited about this. All right. Okay. So, I have the people here. The people are here. I am here. You're here. Thank you for being patient with me, by the way. Not a problem. I am ready to hear this story. Lay it on me. Okay. I am ready for it, and the people are ready for it, and we're all ready to be, like, in awe of this situation. Okay. Um, do you have a time limit? I don't want to get too, um, you know, long-winded if you do. I mean, I, I don't really have a time limit right now. I go to dinner in an hour, but even if you do start to go on tangents, I'll recenter you. Don't worry. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll try not to do that. Uh, I'm just, I can be very detailed at times. So That's okay. Any, anyways, let's, uh, I can start it by saying this. So pretty much I met this woman, um, about 10 years ago. Okay. She was, she was the absolute girl of my dreams. She was the type of girl that you dreamed about first and then you come across them and you have to say something. That's exactly what happened. Um, we clicked, we clicked almost immediately. I had just gotten out of a previous relationship. So it was and not only was it right on time, it was like hitting the lottery. I just had the correct number. Um, I got with this girl and everywhere we went, I was happy to have her by my side. Um, that it was, it was like a fairy tale nonetheless. Um, so speeding up, we, I'm, I'm in the military, so I had to spend some time away. I, was, mm -hmm. I took a, I took a job that took me two years away from her overseas and I knew I shouldn't have done that from the time that I chose it, but it was a financial situation I chose to um, indulge in. With that being said, it didn't go so well. I myself started to make some really bad decisions. I got very careless, okay. um, like a lot of people do, and I just couldn't see what it was I was doing. I, no matter what she told me, no matter what I was being told from, from other people, I just I didn't see it for myself. and. I finally came back, we got back together, we reunited, and things from from the actions that I took, it did not go so well. Um, we really tried, I know I really tried, but there were things on both ends that I was not able to let go of. I was very hypocritical at that time, maybe, maybe still immature, I don't know. Um, and that led to a lot of back and forth on her part, leaving, coming back, leaving, 
coming back. Um, and when I say leaving, I mean from Arizona, which is where I was, back to Maryland. Um, so when she would do that, it, it really, you know, it really bothered me. You start off with the being angry, then you're sad, then you're back to angry, that back and forth thing. You want to call, you want to, you don't know what's happening. Um, so mind you, this is after nine years of being together. You don't expect this from your SP, from your partner. Mm -hmm. So it was very, it it was very confusing for me. I I had no idea if I really had taken out the last straw at this point. Um, So then uh, I'm pretty much just going to let it all out. So because of all of that, I was really upset and I had a, I had an extremely low point because I had to really accept that this person actually left this time. It was a, it was a shock to me. Okay. Um, and from that, uh, I resulted in one of the worst decisions I had ever made. I went back to an ex, and that resulted in a child of mine that I now mm-hmm. have. Okay. Um, now, from that, I don't know what happened. Like I said, I was extremely low. I was so low that mm-hmm. once this person asked me what was wrong, me thinking that I'm hiding everything behind my hiding my feelings if you're able to ask me what's wrong it means you can see through my feelings Mm -hmm. and i just i lost it i i couldn't handle the fact that i'm vulnerable at this point and that's how that happened um really not an excuse but that's really just the truth um with that being said this girl comes back she all of a sudden comes back she calls me and i'm shocked so at this point i didn't know that i had gotten my ex pregnant and we're talking i'm trying to work on it she comes back about a week later and then i got the news that she was pregnant okay. i left i tried to talk her uh i tried to talk her out of it because it wouldn't have been the best situation for myself her or this child and, you know that's really not logical right um, which it which it really wasn't and her being emotional and us having a past she was not going for it and i really tried but it didn't happen so all i could think to do was go home and tell the girl of my dreams who had just came back after everything mm-hmm. what I did and what it resulted in. Right. Um, now, we, we talked as adults. There was a lot of emotions flying, not immediately, surprisingly, but eventually. And that led to her finally leaving. She, she just could not handle it. And we continued to talk. I really tried to work on it, thinking maybe it's just a distance. My confidence was very high. Um, Mm -hmm. as time went on, phone calls got shorter, text messages became few and far between Mm -hmm. voicemails stopped coming through. And before I knew it, no matter how many times I asked, are you coming back? Are we working on this? Me trying to change myself, no matter how many times I did that, no matter how much effort she ended up completely disappearing. No phone call was answered after nine years, no text message was responded to after nine years i could not believe it um i did not want to go back to making the same decision i made with my ex before okay um so what happened was one day <laughs> i get on tiktok okay. and i'm scrolling and i see bs 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 and i come across this woman persis's page and you're you were going live <laughs> and i decided you know what <laughs> I, I heard you speaking on some things that I decided, you know what, this does not sound like some BS. You know, let me put this on, put, put my headphones in and continue what it is that I'm doing. I needed a distraction. Little um, little I, I, I had no idea what it was that you were talking about. Um, I remember you saying something, which is what hooked me onto, um, onto your content. You had said you have to change your assumptions. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? the hell is she talking about? I'm sorry, can I say that? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, I, I, I had no clue what you meant by change your assumptions, but um, I, I don't know, maybe my ego being a man, I have to figure this out. So it kept me coming back. What does she mean? Change your assumptions. And it just felt like my first day of algebra class and y'all were on day 167. I, I could not understand and you kept, y'all, it seemed to me as though you were jumping from subject to subject. It wasn't quite spelled out to me. Mm-hmm. Um, you had, you had had a lot when you were talking about this equation. You said on one side, yeah. you say, yeah, I, I still have that. I wrote that all down. Um, I did it wrong twice. I was so anxious that I wasn't concentrated. I wasn't focused. I did it wrong, but I just, I kept starting over. 
Um, I wrote it on a huge sheet of paper, and I held, I put it up on my wall, mm-hmm. and I would, I would see it every day. Every day I would see it. Um, I would write little things in the foggy mirror when I got out the shower. Okay. But eventually, um, eventually my ego took over. It okay. was I had to accept this um, reality that this is not going to happen. She left. You made this decision. It's not realistic that she's going to come back. All of those negative thoughts I used to drown out the one positive thing that I wanted. Um, and this went over about the course of a year. I just, I could not get off of your live. Anytime I saw you going live, I had to just listen yeah. to what you had to say. So this is the turning point. This is the turning point. One day, persons, I heard you say this and it completely blew my mind. I, I don't know if you were live. I don't know. I think you were live. Um, you said something along the lines of, um, you said what you have to do is, you, you or you said what people tend to do is they take that positive thought and they pour all of these negative thoughts on it. They, mm-hmm. You talk yourself out of that one positive thought so easily. You said the easiest thing that we humans can do is doubt ourselves. And that hit me like a ton of bricks because how easy is it for you to have a one thought that can change your entire life, your entire path. Yeah. And you'll you'll so quickly just effortlessly think of a way to talk yourself out of it. And it's like, why? And then you say, do the opposite. Can you drown out that negative thought with positive thoughts? And I was just like, wow, that was one of the hardest things to even think to do because we're not as positive as we think we are we, yeah you literally you have to dig for a positive thought way more um than you have to dig for a negative thought you really have to find something positive to say yeah um, so that's what it, that's what i decided to do and, and i and i by the way i had to ball up that sheet of paper um before because i couldn't face it i thought i was delusional um so then i finally got this big whiteboard and I was focused. I wrote down what it was that I wanted. I understood the assumptions that you said to change it. My assumption was mm-hmm. my situation is so bad, this would never, ever happen. That was what I assumed. And like I said, I heard in one of your lives, you were pretty much saying something like, who told you that that is the reality? That's yeah. your thought. Nobody said that that's what it is. Um, so... You know, now I'm thinking like, you know what? There are plenty of situations where this actually does happen. It may be more common than I think, more common than I know Mm -hmm. to say. So I wrote that down. Um, I also heard you say you have to become the person that you want to something along. You said something along the lines of if you were in that situation that you want, who is that person? You have to become that person so that you bring in what it is that you want um i, I hope i'm being clear with that uh yeah it's a little hard yeah um you pretty much have more, more so like you have to show up to the um the interview in a suit you can't go in there with the shorts and the white beater you want this job you have to become that person go get yeah. the suit go get the haircut learn the lingo you got a better chance of doing so so um so i worked on myself i let go of my ego i went to therapy i stopped running to people for justification just because I knew them and I knew that they would tell me that I'm more right than I think I am. I had to block out certain things and really become this person. I kept thinking to myself, um, how would I respond if I ran into her again? How would I act if she reached out to me? What would I do if we crossed paths? And that's the type of what I saw in my head. That's what I started to reach for. Um, and I did start to doubt myself a lot, but I kept looking at that whiteboard. And also what I wrote on that whiteboard was give negative thoughts the same energy as positive thoughts. So anytime I started to doubt myself, I would read that and I would just keep keep that thought. You know what started to happen, Persis? Um, I was on this dating site <laughs> and I saw her name just everywhere i mean Mm -hmm. i know a lot of people will say that they think they see that in the signs and all of that um so uh, her name is courtney her name is courtney by the way so 
let's say that I was on this dating site and I was really not having a good time at all because you want the person that you want, but I'm trying to branch out. And this is before I wrote down on the whiteboard. Okay. Um, I would, I would see her name and I think to myself, you know what? It's a common name. I'm going to come across it. Swipe. There it is again. All right. Well, this is a coincidence. There's nothing like a coincidence when you're going through something. Mm -hmm. Swipe. All right. There it is again. This could be a sign, but I don't want to be delusional. Now, and now I'm thinking to myself, if I see it for a fourth time, there's absolutely no way that this is a coincidence. I would swipe, spell differently, the mm -hmm. exact same name. And I'm talking about consecutively. Um, I would see the car that she drives almost instantaneously and thinking to myself, mm -hmm. How is it that I did not leave out at a time where that car could have already passed or I didn't already see it? Why did I have to see it? It was a sign. Okay. Um, and to shorten up the story, basically, like I said, I kept with the whiteboard. I stopped trying to ignore those signs. I stopped trying to act like I was delusional. One day I came home um, from finally going out with a couple of friends. Delusion, isn't it? Decided to go into my email, which I almost never do why would i do so on a saturday night at 1 30 a.m there is an email from her from like seven hours ago that i never saw <laughs> shit I, I could not believe it that's hysterical okay so are you gonna tell us a little bit about the email or is this just a teaser or where are we going from here now i'm <laughs> like so <laughs> okay so um okay i can i can tell you about the email which, which is crazy i i feel as though your audience probably thinks you paid me or something because oh my what god I'm about to say is, because it sounds so it sounds way too good to be true but i swear on my life this is the truth everything that i wrote down i'm, I'm talking person i'm talking getting out of the shower got a couple minutes the mirror still foggy and i just feel like i don't know i need to see. sometimes you have to see your thoughts mm -hmm. i would write down i would write down in the fog what it is that i want she's she's going to feel this way desire for me she'll be um apologetic she's rethought this that and the third she has come to her senses she feels as though she was harsh the email said i should have never left we should have spoken to you i acted out of emotion it was nine years I should not have treated you like a brand new person. Something along those lines. I am not lying. I'm... And I was just like, did she sneak in my house and read that? Because there's no way. That is so fun. And everyone in the comments, I know you can't see, but everyone is in the comments. It's like, what? Yes. <laughs> this I, 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 is I, amazing. I, so I, how, I, sorry, can I interrupt I, for two seconds? Sure, sure. I just want to ask real quick, how did you get your mind around that? Because I'll be honest with you, this is also something that's been coming up in my community a lot. Maybe not this exact particular story, but people feeling guilt for what they've done in the past and making it feel like they are not worthy of something better. So how did you get your mind around that she could come to this conclusion? Or was that just something like with your already high self-concept that got you there? Like, how did you, how how were you capable of convincing yourself of that? Because the, let's be honest, the chips were stacked against you, my, my friend. <laughs> they were stacked against you. That's amazing. Yes, um, the, the way, can you, can you ask the question one more time? Yeah, yeah sure. So basically the question is, I'm putting my phone on charger also because um, I just wanna make sure it stays alive. But basically okay. the question that I'm asking is, when the chips were stacked against you, when you had gotten the ex pregnant, when all this had undone and she said she doesn't want to be with you anymore, she wants to be with So I guess you can say pursue love elsewhere because she's not going to be doing this. How were you capable of getting your mind wrapped around the fact that of, of this new story, which what you wrote on the whiteboard and what you wrote on the foggy mirror is like, she is going to tell me she acted out of line. She is going to tell me she was too harsh and this and that. Like usually some people have guilt or they make those stories mean they can't have anything else. It, am I making sense? Yes. yes so how did you um, get over that? Okay, so initially... I felt tons of guilt just weighing me down. I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to go outside. I just wanted to sit in the dark every day and just face it. You know how they say men can't go through what they put out. I 
decided I'm going to, I don't know if I decided or I really had no one to run to and I had no choice. Um, one day, love an emotionally secure man. <laughs> one day I just realized I'm really not as bad of a person as I'm thinking that I am. I mm-hmm. started to analyze everything that happened. You know, like a lot of people mm-hmm. do, we keep saying this over and over in our own heads. Mm-hmm. And I started to realize um, there were things that led up to my actions and for every action is a reaction. So my actions were a result of, my, re- my actions were actually a reaction from certain things and I may not have taken it the best route. I may not have done, I may not have had the best choices, but everything that I did was not to intentionally hurt someone. So I started to realize um, I am actually a good person. If we were together this long, I must have been doing something right. I I had to let go of that guilt because I didn't deserve it. I started to realize that people make bad decisions. We've done so all our lives. The only difference is the older you get, the more severe they get. That's pretty much it. True. Um, yeah, I, I had to. I really had to let go of that, and it's it was a slow process. But the more that you know, you can't let go of that thought. You start to realize, hmm, I'm actually holding on to the fact that, or holding on to the thought that I'm a terrible person. For you to be holding on to something, that means it's trying to pull away you probably start to let it go yeah um you start to think of more positive things like about yourself i have a son so one thing that i would say i would ask him is how did your day go if he tells me one negative thing i tell him to give me three positive things so that's what i would do i would have to tell myself three positive things that i did whether they were a thought or anything that i did that lets you know you know what you're really not a bad person um so that's pretty much how the guilt started to chip away at me okay i like that we're altering our brain chemistry typical persis type of situation typical persis uh you know approved message okay so then what's the next uh part of this okay so this is this is actually fairly new this is all about what maybe two and a half weeks old okay um but i've been i've been talking to her we've been talking uh, pretty much every day what I've decided to do is that I've decided to take it slow. Um, okay. I'm in very careful with the fact that we're back in touch. I don't want to bombard her with how I felt this entire time. And I'm, I've also decided not to jump on her with, you know, emotions. How could you have, it's been nine years. How could you have done me? Like, no, nobody wants that. She probably had a reason. Yeah. She'll come out with it later. I'm just enjoying the fact that... I, I don't know. I feel like I put a ripple in my own universe. I changed something. So um, I'm just taking it slow. Hello, how are you? I, I think we're back together. I haven't asked for exclusivity, but um, that's how it seems. That's how the text messages are going. We FaceTime, we talk. Um, Am I going to get a like, wedding uh, invite? Do I get to have one? Sure. Sure. Most definitely. Okay. Front row. Thank you. Go can I, can I be the best perfect. woman? What is the man? The band side is the best man. I could at least be a best woman. <laughs> I'll have to talk to her with all of that. Talk to her with her <laughs> no, I'm just that kidding. I'm okay. kidding. Most definitely, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so this is after nine years of separation yeah. that you no, guys... No, no, no. Not, not nine years of separation. Okay. Um, we were together. We were together for nine years. Okay, you were together and, for nine years. Yes. And then I spent two years away from her, although okay. I found my way back. Okay. But once I came back to the States and we were together, there were things we couldn't let go of on both parts. Okay. We ended up being, she ended up ghosting me for a year. Okay. Absolute ghosted. Nothing. Okay. Not, not a trick. Um, and that was hard for me. So okay. after a year. And after, uh, still after a year of no contact, it's very difficult for a logical minded individual to wrap their head around that something's gonna, like a coconut is gonna bop them on the head and, you know, make them think about you. You have done stupendously. My God, this is an amazing story. So what has helped you the most? Like give us give us the juicy details and i know there's no questions right now because a lot of people in the chat are just in awe but what would you say is like how about this let's ask this question which teaching of mine maybe helped you accept that i had 
skin most or what was the thing that could aid you best on your path when doubt was in your mind? Like when things were not working, you know what I mean? Like how were yeah. you capable of crossing that threshold? Okay, so my answer to that would, would have to be the reflection of a lot of the questions or statements I see people ask in your chat. Um, I can pretty much tell that people are afraid to quote unquote waste their time. Yep. If they're not gonna get something back, they pretty much don't wanna do it. So when I heard you say become that person, that is going to, I, I can't really word it. If you want to be in that position that you keep thinking about, who is that person? What does that person look like? Yeah. That person is the person that I decided to become. Right. I would say that helped me because regardless if what you want happens or not, you still became a better person and you might even attract something better than what it was that you were chasing in the first place. Um, so I would say, I would say that when I'm small details, I started to, I, I could give you as both going back and forth with the accepting it as a reality and maybe she really will come back. I, I decided to change up my wardrobe. I decided to buy a couple colognes and mm -hmm. get a, I, I changed what I was looking at every day. I would go to a bar and, you know, go by myself, maybe with a couple friends and I would notice people looking at me, though I didn't feel for them. When I came home, before right before I took those things off, I could see myself in the mirror, and I had to accept, like, wow, you you really made a you made a change, and it was for yourself. Mm -hmm. That that's always a good thing, whether you believe it or not. And that change is like, like I said, a ripple in your universe. It's like a still lake; the water is still, and you nothing's going to change until you make the change. The changes I decided to make was the ripples I made waves. Um, the other thing I would say is when I've heard you say, give those negative thoughts the same amount of positive energy as you do on the opposite side where you drown out that positive thought yep. with negative yeah, with, with negative thoughts. That that was a huge one. That helped in more ways than just me trying to um, manifest my Courtney back. Um, it, I, it helped me in a lot of different ways. Um, I was struggling financially with something, my credit card, I needed to use it to get a, a rental because my car messed up. Um, I ended up having to max out my credit card because they hadn't found the problem in my car. But I didn't realize this until I was just having a good time in the rental, knowing that my funds are kind of strict right now, but I wasn't sad. I mm -hmm. still had these positive thoughts because it was like, you may feel that this is a bad moment right now, but somewhere in your mind, you know, this is not the end. You know that it's going to work out. It's stressing you out right now, but you already know it's not the end. And it was just like not holding on to the negative. Finally, it was enjoying the moment because you're you're there. You may as well enjoy it while you're there. Um, so I would say those two things were the best. Um, and the third, writing it down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, like I said, I had to write it on that whiteboard because of how much doubt and guilt I was dealing with. Your your brain, your own thoughts will just do the worst. It, it'll it'll take whatever you're used to seeing, whatever you're used to hearing from other people's stories, and that's what you go with. So when I wrote it down and I put it right to where I wake up and open my eyes every morning, I would see it. I took a picture of it. I would look at it. Um, and I just would not allow myself to do what I've been doing all my life. I'm like, let's try something different for a change and let's see what, let, let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. And now that this has happened, I don't foresee myself allowing negative yeah. thoughts to drown out of from this point on because I can't believe that word. Like you said, the, the chips were stacked absolutely high against me. Yeah. I don't know what's happened. Listen, how long did this take, this whole process take? I want I want to say a year. That's what I want to say. Okay. But I really I, I think it may have been a little less than a year once I finally de I'm gonna say made the decision mm -hmm. to be disciplined and take um take your strategies. Um, I pretty much I would say a year because. Um, when did you start, find me? Because I haven't even been on here for a year. You haven't? I, I no. Have. I've been on here for about a year because it was mm -hmm. around. It was around 
I was in Arizona last year. Okay. Um, it, person, I'm telling you, it was definitely about a year. It not okay. like I said, maybe just a little up under a no, year. No, that's totally okay. The only reason I remember is I know I started my TikTok in, I believe, the month of May. That's when I started to post. So You know what? You're, you're right, because her birthday is in May, and I spoke to her for the last time in May. And then that's when every I was ghosted and I didn't know what else to do. Okay. So then yeah, right, right up under a year. Okay, um, perfect. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. So how long would you say, out of curiosity, you were out of that year? Were you delaying yourself a decent amount of time? Like when did you when did you flip the switch? Because I'll be honest with you. Sometimes it's like we know all the answers, but we get sick and tired of our own BS and then we yeah. just go really ham on it. And in like two months or something, we have the whole thing. Did you find that you progressively had to do it slower over a year or did you end up flipping a switch at one point and then just got really, really serious? I absolutely flipped the switch in a serious manner um, okay. on Valentine's Day. That that one really okay. hurt because, you know, the stigma of Valentine's Day. But, um, yeah, that scene, just seeing everyone celebrate that day, whether they believe it or not, it was the choice that they made to be with someone. And I just started to realize, or I thought to myself, if, I, if I've gone this long and I'm seeing so many different people and I really can't find something att uh, attractive or attaching me to them, it must be this person that I really want. And I decided right then and there, be positive, focus on what mm -hmm. it is that you want, or at least become that person. That was the first thing I did. I became that person. I let I like go it. of my ego. I, I like stopped. it. I, I stopped with the negativity. It, it was so easy to just drown out a positive thought with negative, and you wouldn't believe how difficult it is to think of. It's so hard to think of the next positive thought. To you got to outwit the devil, you know? Yes. Yes, you absolutely do. That's the best way to put it. It was that voice on my shoulder mm -hmm. saying, you can't do this. And it's like, why can't I? I absolutely can. Yeah. Um, and I just decided to stick with it on Valentine's Day. Um, like I said, I did have my moments where I wanted to erase the whiteboard. I had thought of the um, equation that you wrote out. But that didn't do anything. It put me right back in the space I was in before. Yeah. At least I started to see some a little bit of positivity from yeah. my own thoughts, my own positive thoughts. So I figured, why not just stick with that and see where it goes? It was very difficult. It was very heart wrenching yeah. to not accept that you're not delusional. You have to tell yourself, I'm not delusional. This can happen. And I mean, if anybody wants to, I mean, what, what are we on Instagram? Yeah. You can hit me up on Instagram or TikTok. You can, I'll put, I'll show you a picture. I'll send you a picture of myself. I haven't myself decided to post a picture of she and I yet because mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this is still a dream if I'm gonna wake up and kill this whole thing. But <laughs> no. um, <laughs> I, I just want to be sure. Like I said, I'm I'm just taking it slow, but I absolutely have proof. I can show the email. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I wish I took a picture of what I wrote in the mirror just to show you how yeah. similar they were. Uh, it's That's crazy. so like a, fun. So your whiteboard was basically um, what you did in your journal when you did the equation for like the third time, and that's just what you kept in front of your face every day. Pretty much, yes. Got um, it. I, I, it was like I was talking to myself. When I would lose myself in negativity, I just read the whiteboard, which was me saying to myself, um, what you're thinking is just what you assume change that assumption that's not the reality it's just what you assume yeah um, absolutely that, I'm reading it i love it i love this so much well thank you for sharing this do you have anything else you'd like to um share with us before i let you go i really appreciate you taking some time out oh that is not a problem at all um yeah what, what i would say to the audience and i i hope i'm not everywhere with what it is that i'm saying but um I would have to say person is absolutely right. Like I, I had to do my homework on you. I saw that you were a surgeon. You were like the top surgeon. Um, what that says to me is you pretty much understand the science. So it's not like 
you know, you're just looking up to the clouds for answers. You're yeah. actually don't. I'm talking, you, you have an understanding of this, yeah. which made me way more comfortable. Yeah. So with that, with that knowledge um, that you have, I'm more apt to listen to you. I would say to, I would say to your audience, um, your thoughts absolutely do drive your actions and your world. As a man, think it, so shall you live it. Um, if, love it. If, you, if it's harder for you to think of it on the positive end, like my story, if that's too hard for you, I would just say try to realize, not do, I would say try to realize how much negativity you have thought into your world. If that has absolutely happened, the positive most definitely can happen. You just haven't tried it yet. Yeah. It's going to be difficult. It's it's going to be, it's not going to be as easy as the difficulty, but I mean, at the difficult side, but it most definitely can happen. Open your eyes, pay attention to those signs. They're not there for no reason. There's something out there is trying to attract you yeah. and don't ignore it. When you see it, if you saw it for a reason, because just like I said earlier, when I was driving and I saw her car, why couldn't I have left out at a time where that sign could have passed me moments ago and I've never seen that. I kept seeing it. Yeah. It was the timing. So don't doubt yourself. I love it. I absolutely, completely, totally like am in love with this story. And I appreciate so much that I ended up screenshotting your little success in my, you know, little screenshots because occasionally in live, when people share their success, I screen grab it, screen grab it, screen grab it to be able to post it on my story. I have so many screenshots. My screenshots are in the thousands. Like I was literally mocking myself before you came on here that I feel like I need to hire a personal assistant just to post the amount of success that people have in my world because it's kind of insanity and I can't keep up with it no matter how organized I am and I posted like the stream that came from the success like this the live that I did a little while back when I was on a rant about something and your uh success was in there and one other person's success was in there and I saw that and I posted it and then I tagged you guys in my video inviting you on and I'm so happy you DM'd me and I'm so happy I can share another male success story because I really want more guys in my world. I want to help them out as well and I'm glad that my teachings have improved your life in some small capacity. It, I love when you guys take what I'm on about and you use it. You use it and you make your life better because I can't have all these people come on and do these things successfully and be on about this stuff and, you know, give the type of comments that they give if what I'm saying doesn't really add up, if what I'm saying <laughs> doesn't really work, you know? And I think sometimes people block their own blessings because they exactly. just can't even comprehend in their mind and be open to the fact it can happen. The fact right. that other people can do it means that you can do it too. You're no different than anyone else. You're no different than anyone else. You first have to open your mind to the possibility it can happen for you. And then you'll start to actually think and feel and believe like it can. But if you keep your mind closed and you just try to throw affirmations on top of it, it's probably not going to end up working because your dominant belief is it can't happen for me. Exactly, yes. yes. I, I love agree. this conversation. I, I have two additional things for you. Yeah. Um, so you said you wanted to attract more men. And this is just a suggestion of mine because of what I know I was going through. You might want to throw something in there about our ego because that was my biggest barrier my yeah. biggest barrier was my own self my ego um so i think if you can get that through to men to make us feel comfortable enough or to realize that that is a barrier yeah then we'll be um we'll decide to make better decisions and open up our mind excellent um, that, and this is another one for the audience i'm going to send you proof because like perfect I said, it sounds crazy i also manifested three billion dollars I will send you proof I actually made it um the whole crypto trading thing the thing is I went from like nothing to if, if anybody knows anything about the trading 
uh, cryptos. There's like 20,000 different ones. How is it that after I come across your page and start doing the things that you say and thinking the way that she thinks, all of a sudden I pick the one that made that went up that high. I didn't keep it. I have a different story with that one, but the point is I actually made it and it's there. I have the proof, all of that. I'm going to send you a picture because I know people are like, all right, that's absolutely crazy. You blew, you blew with this one. I'm yeah. going to send you a shout out. Okay, perfect. And I will keep your Instagram open with your consent and your permission if anybody wants to okay. message you. Um, that's fine. If that's fine, because people, I thought people were asking for my Insta. So I was like in my bio and they're like, no, no, we want his. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, sorry. Fine. I thought I was important for a second. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's not a problem at all. That is crazy. So you, you, you did that in cryptocurrency? Yes, yes, I did. How long did that take using my teachings? Um, using your teachings, that, that actually came before she came back. And you would think I wouldn't even care about a girlfriend at that point, but I did. Um, that happened if I started talking, if I started listening to you in May. Uh, so you were there, you were a day one. Yes. Oh yes, my was. God, I respect you. <laughs> Yeah, I stopped listening to music. I had to find if you if I got the notification purses going live, that is what I listen to. Um, You've been I, on the Persis gospel train. Yes. Yes, oh, I have. Man, I've been doing the Lord's work for a long time now. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> no, just kidding. No, but, thank you. Oh my god. So hang on. So how much time did that take? Um the the money situation? Yeah. Uh, I would say that took maybe two months. I, w I was pretty new to crypto. Um, I had been doing it for a while. I had made a little bit of money, but this was not by this was not on purpose. I didn't have a strategy. It was kind of by luck. Um, but once I started listening to you, I could say I I'm going to say it like this: I was thinking to myself, um, you know, it's time to make a change. I need to make more money. I need to do different things. I'm on this app and I'm looking, I'm looking and I'm trying to look, you know, I'm looking at the numbers, I'm looking at the graphs and just doing homework. Um, and one day I just decided I keep seeing this one. It's called Clover, by the way. If anyone okay. looks up Clover, they'll see that it actually did skyrocket. Um, and I just decided in my own head, this can happen. It's no reason that this cannot happen. And I specifically had said to myself, I can make a couple of billions with this. Now, granted, just like we're talking about, that word does not sit well in our heads. It sounds too crazy. So I took it back mentally. I said, mm, maybe not billions, which is why I don't have it now. But I said it. And I think right after I said it, um, so I'll sum up the story really quick. I put the money into Clover. Um, about two weeks went by the first week. I was looking, 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 looking to see if anything happened with this crypto. Just okay. every day looking. I got tired of looking, and by the second week, I'm at work in a place where I cannot have my phone to check it at all. Okay. Um, and I was, I was kind of over it at this point, but I'm at work, and my emails are going off. They're going crazy, but it's at the end of the day, so I'm not going to answer an email because I have, like, two minutes left, and you're not about to keep me at work. Okay. Um, Finally, I see an email pop up from one of my friends, and she's saying, "Hey, your crypto is going crazy. Go check your, uh, go check it." Um, then the phone rings, and same conversation. I jump off the phone. I run outside. I run outside to my car. Like I said, I'm on a military base, barely any service. The it just keeps giving me the loading screen. So I think, okay, well I'm off now. Let me just go up to the gate where I know there's more service. Mm -hmm. I go up to the gate more service and that's where I saw it skyrocketed up and it had just come back down but it really the, out of all 20,000 that is the one that I said what you said to do and that's the one that worked wow it wasn't been a popular crypto it wasn't anything you've probably ever heard of yeah it just happened to be one yeah that is amazing three billion yeah. Three billion. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna send it to you right now. Yeah, go for you. it. But yeah. I am jazzed for you. You're gonna end up manifesting like five billion more. 
Yeah, I, I think so. I haven't given up because it happened. There's no reason it can't happen again. Exactly. Yeah. And then just think of us little people. You know what I mean? At that point, <laughs> I see that you sent it. I wish I could pull it up over here, but I think I'm gonna. it's going to make me get off my phone in order to do it. But I will look at that like literally directly after this. Okay, no problem.